three things that conspiracy strides on. Three things that conspiracy you could identify. You could identify that it could be a bait that conspiracy, the spirit of conspiracy, can use to attack your life. I pray that the glory of the Lord shall be seen. That as we are delivered, we are delivered and we are delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus. Three things I want to share with you. Conspiracy, as I said, is a very dangerous spirit. One of the spirits that aligns itself with conspiracy is the spirit that we call familiar spirit. A spirit that has been with you and that has been in your family. A spirit that knows you and knows everything. The ins and outs of your being. A spirit that knows the within and the without. A spirit that is comfortable with you no matter how you pray or fast. It is a dangerous spirit. Conspiracy is the last resort of the devil against your life. Conspiracy, the spirit of conspiracy will be used by the devil to unleash a venom that you cannot stop. That is what the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, that stand against the death of the devil. It is just like the game that you have this round board and there is a red point or there is a point at the middle called the bull's eye that you need to throw a, 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 just a tiny shaped um, arrow. You throw it, that is the dart, aiming directly, aiming at the bull eye, aiming at that small spot. May God open your eyes to see your conspirators. They will fall and you will not fall, you will stand. One of the things that conspiracy strides on is what I call what you love. Conspiracy will use what you love against your life. What you love. For instance, you love drinking. That is where your friends, if they saw that you are aspiring to be somebody great, yet they can't compete with you, they can poison you through the drink. If they fear to poison you through the drink, they will make sure that you drink and you drink and you drink and you collapse your liver and you die. I told you that the last thing that conspiracy looks at is death. Its activity is a means. The end result is death. So for instance, if you love drinking, that is what Perhaps let me give this uh, scenario or illustration that people, I mean, you, you, are, you are a threat to some particular people. They see that if they don't deal with you, you will either overcome them or do something which invariably will become a, 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 a great scorn in their lives. People will see them and they will laugh. They will look for so many avenues they might find None. They wouldn't be able to find any. And then just in a GV, they remind themselves that he likes drinking. Say, so yes, let's bait him with the drink. Let's do what? Bait him with the drink. They will call you. Oh, let's go and jamboree. Let, let, let's go sit some, somewhere. I mean, I have some money. So let, let's go and spend on some champagne. And they knew very well that you, lack, you love champagne, yet you lack the money to buy champagne. They will tell you that, oh, I'll buy it for you. Let me tell you so, something. Protect what you love and be careful when you are loving it. Because that is the bait that your conspirators will use. Many have died through poisoning of some particular thing that they like or love. Another illustration is that if perhaps you love women or you love men, they will plot and this beautiful lady will come into your life and she will come like someone who is so nice to you. Remember the great man called Samson and Delilah. Samson had all the powers. The Philistines couldn't know how to trap Samson. And they saw his weakness that he loves women. And even when he doesn't love women or even when he has no love for women, when he loves, he loves head over heels. He somersaults literally <laughs> in love. He doesn't fall in love. He collapses in love. 
So they said, let us use his love as a bait. So they sent him Delilah. And Delilah had to perform a role to the bone. And he saw what happened. Not that they were relieving something of his strength and power. Remember, I told you that the end result of conspiracy is what? Death. It's related to death. It's two people agreeing, or two or more people agreeing to cause an havoc. To cause a havoc. To cause a havoc in one's life. And that is a spirit that the devil wants to use against your business. You love your big business so much. You love it to a fault. You love your business to a fault. They will use your same business if you are not careful and observant. Watching the trend of your business. The Bible says we should be careful in all things. And with supplication, we should let our request be made known unto God. They will say he loves his business. As for this man, he lost money. Let's trap him with this goose. Your own friends will come. Oh, your goose, have, we, we, we have one. If this one is cheap. It's cheap. So there's no need for you to travel to Europe. There's no need for you to travel to America. There's no need for you to travel to China. I mean, we, we have it here. And you go and general inspect. Oh, it's nice. But behind it, there is stealing. It was stolen. Stolen goods. And they will give it to you. And they will turn around to report you. And the, the police will come. And all what they want to do is that the police must strip off every money you have. If you don't pay this, as usual, you know, when you are taken to the court, you'll be jailed. So pay over 500,000 US dollars as import whatever tax revenue. And you are scared to go to jail for 10 years. Who's going to get, take care of your children and your wife? You don't even, you don't even think about your children, your wife. By the time you, 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 you come, your own friend in Psalm 41 had done justice to your wife. Conspiracy, what you love, is what they will use. I believe that all of us, everybody here knows what he or she loves. Protect and be careful of that. If you love food, make sure that before you eat the food, you pray and you sanctify it. You sanctify it. Remember Isaac. Isaac loved food. Isaac, he loved food. So, out of food, they conspired for him to bless the younger. Let's go to the book of Genesis 25. Verse 28. And Isaac loved Esau because he did what? He did eat of his venison. <laughs> Esau will always come from hunting with the skin of the deer. The skin of the deer is venison. It's very expensive. It's very expensive. So Isaac will always eat it and, and, and after eating he will relax in the living room watching TV3 news. Because they give current. And they will say, oh, my son's food is so nice. And Rebecca had and conspired with Jacob. That your father says he wants to eat the venison again. You know he loves this food. Quickly go and catch a deer and prepare. So bring it, let me prepare. He loved it so because he did eat of his venison. Which means because of the food. Isaac loved Esau. That same food was used by people. Conspiracy. <laughs> Be careful of what you love. Amen. That is the same thing. And many a time, the spirit of conspiracy could also use something that you hate most. We'll try to lure you to, to try it. We'll describe it as something that will undermine your knowledge about it will debate your mind. You hate cats. The spirit of conspiracy will debate you. In your own mind, you'll be contemplated. Will tell you that you are missing something good. And when he wants to break and collapse your genuine thought against it, he will bring into your life the best car ever. And you sit in it and say, Wow! I've been missing this for years! No, no, he car is so nice. Wow. So Isaac loved food. They will not bring, many a time what they do is that they, they will bring what you love as a bait. May your conspirators 
be destroyed. Amen. Remember the keys of Jesus, the keys of Judas on the cheeks of Jesus. It was a custom that any time you, you met a friend, you greet the person with a kiss. That, that, that was a traditional greeting. So no doubt Paul said in Romans 16, 16, he said that kiss with a brotherly word, kiss, because it was a traditional greeting. So Judas told the Pharisees that he loves kissing. He loves to be hugged and to be kissed. And kisses mean you care. Remember when Mary Madeline had to break the alabaster oil? She wiped the feet of Jesus with her hair and virtually kissed the legs. Kissed. Showing care. So Judas conspired and said to the Pharisees, what I will do represents the betrayer. You might be the person who loves food. Who loves food. They've done everything to de destroy you. They couldn't. And they remember that you love food. They will prepare the sumptuous meal. The sumptuous meal. And when you sit behind the meal, you will forget your lost prayer. You forget it. And after taking it, you start feeling strange movement in your tummy. That I, I saw this food. I saw this domedo. I saw this domedo there. Tomato me prepare, but when mommy, mommy, you come to me and you end it, end it, you tomato in your fine, and you fine. Every day, I hope someone will destroy you. Since that time, you've been experiencing strange stomach pains. Strange things have been moving. They conspired by you. We're not alert. Ha ha ha! Kotoroboshi, leba torobo. One of the things that you can use to destroy conspiracy, the spirit of conspiracy, is that you don't allow bitterness to overpower and overshadow your thoughts and emotions. You make your heart become free. You don't have bitterness or pain. Because one of the platforms that conspiracy grows is that it wants you to be embittered. It wants you to be bitter in your heart. And remember, bitterness could bring a medical situation. It brings pressure on your liver. And it turns out that you have diarrhea. And when diarrhea sets in for too long, you know what happens to your body. Many of us have taken in food that we shouldn't have taken in. And since that time, everything is collapsing around us. Remember, the devil knew very well that in Matthew 4, after Jesus had fasted, in no way he would have tempted Jesus in the first place with something that is material, like car, a mundane thing, even though food happens to be a material substance. But he saw that after the fasting, he loved food. He wants something to eat. He said, you are, you are hungry. Turn these stones to bread. Turn it. Remember that any time and anywhere, anything that you love, the thing you love, when that thing comes to you, Scrutinize it carefully with prayer. I love cars, I love cars, I love cars. And then somebody brings in, Pastor, I dash you this car. Remember that you need to pray and sanctify it. Take it to the garage. Let them examine the, the brakes <laughs> and everything. Because you love it. That is what will be used to kill you. What you love will kill you. For God so loved the world. He loved the world and the world killed him. Out of love, he was killed. <laughs> the spirit of conspiracy. For something love Delilah. Out of love of Delilah, he was killed. <laughs> After Isaac had eaten the porridge, he was very close to death. Strived to death. You love the drink. It will kill you one day. You love men. They will kill you one day. You love the woman. They will kill you one day. You need just to be careful. Appreciate them. Appreciate, admire them. There is nothing wrong in admiring people. Ah, for me, I love my business. I love my business. I love my business. Have you heard before? Why ye juma on rese en odi wi? Ye juma kunu. Open ye juma. Why ye juma sa? Oko juma bra. No people. Conspiracy. May you come out of every web of conspiracy in the name of Jesus. They knew very well that 
in your rightful senses, you can debate them and, 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 and push them somewhere. So they will offer you what, you what you like to confuse your mind. To confuse your mind. Confuse your mind. Somebody say, I would never be confused. I would never be confused. Now Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison. And Rebekah loved Jacob. The 29. And Jacob bought portage. And Esau came in from the field. And he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee. Same red pottage. With that same word, red pottage. What took his favor from him was what he loved. There are some pastors, we all love money. Pastor Bert they love money. Ah. And out of money, they sell the anointing. Which the anointing can never be sold. They go into every easy little thing they want to charge. Pastor! I have migraine. Yes. Bring 400 Ghana CD. That is a demon sitting in your right mind. That demon must be exercised. Pass on my shoe. Bring 200 Ghana. I'm not suggesting that sowing a seed is wrong. But when it becomes rampant and a pattern and a cultivated action beyond reason, praise the Lord. They love money. So because of they loving money, they will go in for extra judicious anointing. Out of that conspiracy will set in. May you escape every conspiracy in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 35 and Psalm 55, David saw the strange thing. This, this writer saw the strange attack on his life. You are a young man. You are making it. You are making it out of the young men. You are doing so well. You are doing so well. You are doing so well in all facets of life. Your marriage is doing well. Your business is doing well. Your kids are doing well. You, I mean, you have a nice house. Everything is moving on well. Hey, that is the time that you need to be highly protective in prayer. Don't lose your guard because people will definitely conspire. And the unfortunate thing is that the people who will conspire are not people who are far from you. They are their closest friends who do not have what you have. They will sit down and ask themselves, because they've not made it and you've made it, yet you are with them. And they don't know how you made it. And even when they know, they will ask themselves, why didn't you receive such an opportunity? And this stupid boy, I mean, when we were in school, I taught him math. He had, he had the opportunity, look at me. No. You too, you don't want to expose or reveal your hidden secrets on your success. They ask you, how did you make it? And you want to show off, you want to preserve your, 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 your secret. So, or you want to pre preserve what you know. You tell them, oh, no, no, don't worry. So, and then they will conspire. You know, he's wicked. He doesn't want to show us how he had his m m money. He wants always, he will buy the drinks for, for us. This Friday, let's take him to that Lagazel. You know that chick from Tema. We will, we will just tell the girl. He likes women who go. So that she will go and take about two thousand dollars from, from him. We'll tap him and we'll even set them up. We'll tell the wife, we'll call and change our voice. Can I met your husband in the hotel the Yalakuli? I don't know if he is doing some business. I saw him with some businessmen. Did, did, did he tell you that he'll be keeping he, I mean you'll be keeping long in coming? Did he tell you about some business and then your wife too? You say, hey, he didn't tell me anything. Kojo comes home very early. But today is, is late. Uh, okay, maybe this is uh, Well, he's having some business in that hotel. But it looks like I saw two women with him. Maybe they are part of the business group. They've given your wife the clue. Your wife too, will become a platform with the conspirators. Will quickly dress because you bought her a car. She will just jump into the car. Speed up. Ooh, straight to hotel. Laga Zigo. The Pharisees saw one thing in Jesus. They didn't see Jesus as the Savior. That they saw Jesus. They thought Jesus was coming in to be the high priest in the temple to take their work from them. So how come a young man coming in to take somebody who had studied theology for 60 years? You came to the scene. No, people are following you. And you want to be the head of the, the temple. Let us kill him. Let us kill him. Ask yourself, where were they when Jesus was in the temple reading the book of Isaiah? They sat there, they laughed with him. Oh, nice. I believe after he had read it, some of the Pharisees 
But Jesus knew their thoughts. Didn't, didn't say the thing. Went out and they conspired. When Jesus left, Charlie, this boy will disgrace us all. If we don't do something, these Jews will say, we've been taking their money, not we've not been teaching them. We have to eliminate him fast. But the Bible says, the young man had been endowed with the Spirit of God and authority and power until you are endowed with power from above. You can never defeat your conspirators. May you be endowed with power. Amen. May you be endowed with power. Amen. May you be endowed with power. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, so it, so it coming. Apparently, Jesus did not trust all his, his disciples. He did not trust them. Do you know why? He questioned them somewhere in Matthew. I think the chapter 16. Ask them. Who do you say I am? <laughs> People that you've moved with, who do you see I am? If Jesus asks you that quick question, it suggests to the fact that he knew their minds. For when Peter said, Thou art the Son of God, he said, For flesh and blood had not revealed this. On you, Petrus, Petra, conspiracy will bait you with what you love. You love the movie, you love the beaches. You love the restaurants. You love parties. They conspired. They came home. You were not there. They went to your office. They saw that you've closed. And they conspired. They said, ah, one place we can meet here is the beach. As for beach there, she stays for long. Let's go there. Let's tell her that today there is a jamboree. There is a barbecue night at beach. Aguagu. Beach Aguagu. She likes the Chaguagu. Let's go. And then they will come in. Charlie, this Friday, there's a barbecue night in Bichaguagu. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for telling me. Hey, hey. What is the dress code? You're asking dress code. They will make sure that you wear the dress code. That's when they are strangling you. It will be easy. <laughs> and then the Leamush is coming. The brothers of Joseph knew very well that as they were taking care of the flock, the father would definitely send the boy with food. So they said, let's wait. Let's go. I believe that that very day, some of the brothers had wanted to stay. But he said, Charlie, we have an agenda. If you stay, you will be sent with the food. Let's go. Everybody, let's go. And let's leave him. He will come with the food. The moment he appeared, they said what? The dreamer cometh. The dreamer cometh. The dreamer cometh. Cometh. The dreamer cometh. May your conspirators be confused. Even when they've seen you, may they be confused. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Or you like prayer. Even the same prayer, your conspirators will use it as a bait. They say, we want to destroy his anointing. Yes, Baba Walade, Baba Walade has some powers. Let's fake to him that Baba Walade is sick. So that when he lays hands, the snake in the hair of Baba Ladi will bite him and his anointing will collapse. Then they rush, prophet, 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 somebody is sick. Come, 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 come. Did you know why Jesus stayed when Lazarus died? He saw that there was a trick there. If he had gone earlier, he would have stopped it halfway. And as he went, if he had gone on that time, people would have castigated him that, hey, because they give you food. Hey, hey, because of his sisters. That is why. Hey, hey, because you love, love them. That is why you see how you were going. You were running. When we told you that the centurion is sick, you said you will not go. You will not go. But when these people called you, you are going. Hey, hey. So Jesus stayed. He stayed. He said, hey, Charlie, not knowing the guy, you know, we say, he did like the demo. Pa, he did go there, but the brother, they know to go. No. He didn't like them. 
what we were thinking. You know, we saw. She said, didn't go. But if they have gone, they say, hey, hey. So, name Prano. Name Prano. So, you can't go. Centurion, you are no one. She said, I will not go. You will not die. For this, change the minds of people. Baba wala dey good then they bring baba day. you want everybody to see though Do, you don't even pray and investigate spiritual thing already hey baba wala dey you know that what Jesus touch prophet there are times I stand here and people expect that that day I will prophesy and lay hands and I'll call the prophets lay hands because I have done my homework and I know that there are traps there was a particular time a lady sat here in those days some years back she sat here. No, no, she came in with 12 spirits, 12 idols. Someone invited her, and she said she was coming in to see the powers that have been used here. She came in with 12 images. Apparently, she happens to be a fetish priestess, a young girl of about 23 years. Sat here. And when we were praising God, we were praising God. I got out, we were praising. She was dancing. She was the person who was rather dancing. Dancing, dancing. I looked at her. A fair colored. I looked at her. I looked at her. And the way she was dancing, any man of God who happens not to be spiritually inclined would definitely call her to lay hands. I looked at her, and the Holy Spirit told, told me, this is a Wagadre conspiracy. I said, everybody wake up, stand. We are calling the fire of God. And they said, we started clapping, fire, fire. And then she started taking her clothes off, brazier off, bombs up. She took this, this and people were rushing. She had marks. Fetish marks. Paul said, don't haste in laying on of hands. Your conspiracy is around you. And your conspirators are lurking behind that blessing. And they want to destroy you. But as you overleave it, they can never destroy you. As you overleave it, they can never destroy you. As you overleave it, they can never destroy you. As you overleave it, they can never destroy you. As you overleave it, they can never destroy you. They know that you are a woman who likes money. You see, the Bible says, for the devil knoweth everything. They will push this fetish man with money. Alaji, Mekudi, Lashan, LLB, Contractor, Aeroplane, all the names of money. And he will come. And when he comes, the conspirators, do you know what they, they will do? They will make sure that they will align themselves with a friend, your friend. And Alaji will come. We will not give you the money, we will give your friend the money so that your eyes will be pre pre, on off, on off. And then Elijah will tell your friend, um, I, I, I'll be doing some few uh, cocktail pa party, bring your friend. And then because she loves money, see, hey, Elijah, and then you tell her, hey, you will be having some cocktail, you let's go. When you go, he will give you money. You too, you go, you dress. Elijah knows that your head is worth 30 million dollars. The murderers are in the underground waiting for you. A big palace. You get to see. Kufu is cool. Yes, money is good. Kufu is cool. See, see. Kalaju, come hello. Did you love my house? Say yes. Okay, let's, let's move around. He's taking you down. You'll never be seen again. Your friend will be giving money to shut them off. Your mother will call your friend. Did he tell you seen your friend? No, no. I said that we didn't go to Paris. She didn't come. People are missing till now. They are not found. Till now, they are not found. But my Bible tells me that if you died a natural death, you will be located. You will be located. The spirit of conspiracy. Your own mom can conspire against you. Your own mom can conspire against you. You loved one particular sister. You've seen the anointing of God upon her life. And you want to marry her. Your mom too loves another woman. Another girl. She wants to bring the woman to you. Yet you don't love what your mother loves. Your mother will see the girl down. Let's conspire and fuck this woman. They know the time that your fiancé comes to visit you and your mother will conspire. Tuesday, November 4 o'clock. Bra. Bamadina, memma wo. Meba ne shet. Okwe juma. Ni fiancé beba ne shet. Ne shet. No wonder wo. The moment the one you loved open the door, there is another girl wearing the shirt that she bought for the fiancé. For the fiancé. He's gone. She's gone. Spirit of conspiracy. I told you the end result is death. You think you are so smart. Three of you did the business and you thought to yourself that you need to take the lion's share. They didn't talk. They said no problem. So you thought you are the boss. <laughs> Pray. 
the dangers of life is that when you are dealing with somebody and you know that you are dealing negatively, you are dealing badly with the person and the person keeps quiet, be, be careful. It's not that the person is a fool. The person is contemplating how to deal with you the next time. We hear business, it's kind of buy and you're 80%. Can you buy now? What's the jar? Can I buy near photo in the interest twenty two twenty? Who names or no soon in the other near eighty? Oh, so we are sure not in the OJ. I am Muslim. Okay, on cash. You are in danger. You are in danger. Look at what you You will forget. You see, quiet. Manquata, I could see. Quiet. Make you bull. Or cast of forty. Who names? Send a wound names there. Oh, Nimu. Or no soon names or yard if you wouldn't. Oh, pretend no, no, I not I didn't I didn't okay with me, sorry. And they work Don't don't be afraid of him. But when he is quiet, ask yourself, does he know or he does not know? Does he know or he does not know? Does he know or he does not know? He is confusing you. <laughs> hey! People are not fools though. So. The wisest man on earth is the person who keeps quiet on situations but knows what he will do at the end of the day. Esau went out from the family because the spirit of conspiracy, when he was coming back, he had enough. Jacob saw him, was so scared, said, I! Esau said, don't worry, I have enough. May you have enough. I said, for whatever they took from you, you shall have enough in the mighty name of Jesus. For whatever they used, if conspiring against your blessing, you will have it in double portion in the mighty name of Jesus. You need to pray. Pray. Tell God always that God order my steps. And God will order your steps. Conspirators will always make sure that even among themselves, they look off their shoulders. They look off their shoulders. There are times that what you are in their need, that will become the bait that the spirit of conspiracy will use to destroy you. Hey, I'm in need. I'm in need of this need. Ye, I'm in need. Ye, I'm in need. See, this need, David, does not come. I'm dead. What you hate, the conspirators will push the person. Let me give you an illustration. You hated men. All of a sudden, you needed money for rent. Seriously, you needed money for some business. You are bankrupt. And apparently a man had asked for your hand and you've rejected the man. He went around, he, he went into your friends, asking them to just tell you something. Yeah, he did he agree. And then you told your friends, I need money. The moment you knew very well that your friends could not help you, don't tell them you need money. Because the moment you told them, they will run to the man who always asks you for love. But he is May God reveal your conspirators in the mighty name of Jesus. I told you that it is in the church. That is a strong negative spirit. The spirit of conspiracy is in the church. The spirit of conspiracy is in your workplace. The spirit of conspiracy is in your friends. The spirit of conspiracy is, is in your home. Even in, uh, among your siblings. The spirit of conspiracy could be there. The spirit of conspiracy is everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. For what you love will be the same thing that will be used to destroy your blessing, if not to kill you. The devil knows what you need, and he will package it nicely. Remember, Eve, Eve moved around in the garden looking for food. She went out looking for food, looking for food. Anytime I read that scripture, I cry for men. I pray for men. I pray for men, especially married men. I pray. I pray. That God should give every man money so that he can take care of his family. Because the dangers of not being able to take care of your family, your family becomes a prey to scavengers, especially your wife, especially your kids. If Adam should have supplied her food enough so that she would have had enough that the fruit that Satan wanted to give her, she will see that, you know, when you are satisfied, nothing will taste or, or, or nothing becomes attractive, especially something that has taste or like food. May every man receive money.
Tonight, I pray as the servant of Yeshua HaMashiach. In the mighty name of Jesus. That you have money. Every man say, I receive it. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of conspiracy. The spirit of conspiracy. They use so many things to bait us, to destroy us. Remember, what you love will become the bait that they will use to destroy you.